welcome to this tutorial so what you're gonna want to do is get your textures off of textures.com this website uh it has like loads of ppr materials and there's like ones you can buy and ones that are for free not an advert get your hdri off of hollyhaven.com this website and then you're gonna want to start off by adding a geo node And then diving into that, adding a sphere node, and this is what we're gonna put as um, yeah, you want it as polygon, put the frequency to like eight, and that should be good. And then add a matte material node, and then add a material network. And dive into the material network and add a principled principled shader and hoping that you've got the PBR material uh, downloaded go to textures tick the base color use texture and then get your albedo.tiff that's what you use for the base texture Scroll down to roughness. Let me just scroll down to roughness here. Use texture, and then there should be yeah roughness. This texture, and then the bumper normals tab. Tick enable. Go to texture path and pick the normal shader. Tiff normal tiff, and then for the final one go to displacement tab texture enable texture displacement texture path and add height now go back to geo you've created this material if you go to the material node uh, on material click this little button here uh add G click down geo click down the mat net and principal shader one accept it view and so this don't really look good right now because we need to drop down a UV project node and now you can see what the UV looks like and that does not look good we need it to be like a bit more rectangular so drop down a UV quick shade on UV project node switch it from orthographic to polar that should pretty much fix your problem. Now go back onto material, uh, come into render view and have a look. So as you can see, there's a bit more detail on the texture now, but there are a few more things we need to do. So go to the object uh, tab, add an environment light, and bring in your HDR in. This is so we just make the whole uh, thing look a bit more realistic so i just got a damn bridge hdr but like you can pretty much get whatever you want uh bring down your light intensity to like 0.3 enable light and viewport take that off and then um place some lights side by side Once you've set up your light setup, I'd suggest to uh, adjust the um, material a bit to your liking. So, if you go to the displacement tab here, scroll down to texture and effect scale. Let me just turn off the wireframe so you can see the actual texture a bit better. If you like, turn up this effect here, it will like affect the um, geometry of the let me actually go into render view sorry so yeah like the more you increase the effect the more intense the um the rock is like the more rock the rock is so it looks pretty cool like that's a bit extreme like if you just add it to like 0.2 uh, 
that looks pretty cool and then also um, if you go to surface scroll down to roughness find roughness yeah here and add it up to like 0.8 that decreases the um, amount of like, specular light coming off it because the rock is not that shiny or at least this rock I'm doing isn't and if you turn up the turn the base color to white that'll make the rock look a bit better and yeah that's pretty much all you need to know um, and obviously you can apply this texture to other objects not just like a sphere as done in this so yeah thank you for watching